So welcome to a new video and this time we went back to GT Sport because GT7 had some server maintenance issues and is down for a while. So we went back to Mount Panorama in GT Sport with our typical setup starting from the back and seeing what's going to happen. And honestly in this race a lot happened and this was one of the craziest and really, yeah, I don't know, races with the highest amount of carnage since very long time. So. I'm happy to share this with you and um, let's see what actually happened in this race. So we started second last, there's just one German um, behind us and this German will be part of the whole carnage story later on, but let's see first how all of this unfolds. So we're starting, the Supra is the car we have not used before, so I just uh, used it the first time in the race and so I was not really clear on uh, the breaking points and um, the, what is the best gear so I was not really quick in this corner so the German was uh, close behind me and still we tried to be late on the brakes here but the persons in front of us actually were even early on the brake I got pushed wide hit the other German but um, yeah, not my fault that I hit the other German but uh, I got punted as well here we overtook the Frenchman, so clean move, and he actually came back because we were too careful in this corner, but that's perfectly fine, clean move from the French um, in the Aston Martin. So here in the midfield you can't do much, you can just try to not lose time, so if someone is slow, I try to push people a little bit to just accelerate them, because the most important thing here is not lose time, because overtaking is almost impossible without being you know, pushed wide like here. You see two already um, went out because if you fight too hard it's really difficult now here everything is really in a big fight um, and in all this fight they went slow i was going to the side although i did not want to go on the side so you can see later on i just go back so here i did not want to go, go for a move so they were breaking very early i hit them then they were breaking again very early i was going outside to the outside but I didn't want to be there it's not a good place to be and I got pushed against the wall and now the German is back and he has some interesting approach to overtake in this corner go for the inside use me as the brake and just take the position well done um, maybe not so clean but yeah, yeah drop down here I went a bit wide because I was already looking back on who's coming next who's overtaking me next so the person with the fear sticker on the car Hopefully it's not punting me and pushing me off track, so let's see. And actually, kudos so to this person, breaking early, being very clean, that's good news. German went wide, just rejoined the track dangerously, but um, nothing happened. So here, let's go quickly further, we catch up again, and we are back behind the Beetle, overtaking on the long straight. Hopefully no punting, nothing happening. And here now everything worked fine and I was hoping again to that this race was only uh, an issue in the first lap and the rest of the race would be nice. But I was really wrong on that. So I was trying to stay behind, not get involved into any kind of carnage, not uh, being pushed out, to really stay a bit behind, wait for the long straight to overtake. And now have a look at what the Aston Martin, those three cars in front of us, is doing. So he went very wide here. And his rejoin was really starting the whole chaos here. So he rejoined as if it would be nothing. So pushed this British guy and then just went completely straight without braking. And then it unfolds all this chaos. And with the result that I'm the person who was completely pushed to the barrier because he hit the barrier on the left and I got completely pushed out. So that was really a pain and um, yeah so again I was uh, in the back again so <laughs> trying to catch up. We see there is a penalty in front so hoping to catch up again and we see again it's the French friend with the FIA car so Hopefully this time we get a clean move possible and we actually were not able and completely bended. 
I don't think it was a mistake from both of us. I was committing to the left here because he was staying more on the right. I was going to the left and in this speed I was just unable to go anywhere and he was staying in the middle and I didn't know where to go. And so it was just too late. So he should have committed earlier to one side. He was staying on the inside and then he went out middle. It was difficult. But yeah, wouldn't blame him. So I think it's both of our fault. I didn't... Uh, I wanted to go for the move and he was uh, unsure where to go. But yeah. I would say this is again a racing incident, uh, but again, it was really perfectly matching this race because all of these issues always happen in this race here. So again, same as usual, we are in the back, we are trying to catch up, and here we go, trying to go for the next move. So I didn't want to go for a move here, but he was very slow, he made a mistake, so I was trying to break and just avoiding any further impact. Because my goal was to stay close here and go for an overtake on the long straight. Long straight is a good overtaking opportunity. If you get a good exit from the slow corner, you actually can uh, overtake pretty well here. But there is one issue, it's really the breaking point at the end. So it's, it's a high risk that the person behind you is just committing on the brakes too late and pushing you out. So let's see what happens here. And I went very wide. And there is a specific reason for this. Let's have a look in, again, this time from the view of our British friend. So he actually went and he was, I don't know, he was braking, not braking, accelerating, not braking. I don't know what he wanted, but I don't know if he on purpose pushed me out or if he just was braking too early and thought he should brake later. I have no idea, but it was a bit weird because he actually lifted the throttle and then... Uh, accelerated again into me so that was not so nice i would say that was definitely not a nice move so back to where i've been before we have been in the last position and trying to catch up and as usual we are catching up in the midfield um, that's where we can gain time but again it's not good for overtaking so staying behind trying to stay behind starting to stay close so that we are in the slipstream he made a mistake. I didn't want to go again for a move, but couldn't go anywhere. So he has a penalty, so just trying to yeah, use this penalty, but he was breaking very early here. I did also, again, didn't want to go for the move, but um, yeah, because he was breaking so early, I didn't know actually where to go, and uh, it was also too late then on the brakes. But no problem, so I was just following him, catching up again as usual. It was standard process of catching up. And he has penalty, so I thought easy overtake anyway. And look what we did now. So he actually decided to completely break, protect me, and trying to ruin my race uh, by trying to keep his position. You can see it here, so let's go a bit, a bit further. So, breaking point, I think it's on the 100 meter board, is the breaking point. So, he is actually breaking on the 150 and then breaking, breaking, and even almost to standing still. So it's, he was on purpose uh, brake kicking me here. So that's again something yeah I don't particularly like. So we had contact before, but I think uh, it was yeah, not my fault and uh, not so nice for him. So he was then having the penalty to serve. We got the overtake done. So luckily, no further push or no further blocking. So finally went up to position number 11, but what I did not see is that actually there we have the German guy from the beginning behind us again, because he was in the pit in the meantime, and he is now behind us with fresh medium tires, so I was trying to push hard here, hit the barrier a bit, but um, yeah, with my used medium tires, five laps old, I had not so much chance to really move away, but that's fine, so um, he was in this position giving me a bit of uh, space breaking not too late i was trying to really go for the maximum here so everything went well and i now figured out that he's behind me so but i couldn't do anything i thought okay let's let him overtake on the straight but he had a different uh, opinion so he wanted to go again for the same gap the other german took before it seems to be the german gap here and um, yeah trying to overtake um, where the gap wasn't and look what happened here to me, so it completely went to the worst, because you can see in the replay, 
So this, there is this small, on the left here, this place which I hit. So then I was spinning, and I was only half throttle, but enough already to go to the next barrier. And guess what's happening now? Yes, we got overtaken again by everyone. So we are back in the last position here. So whatever we did, it was impossible to make progress still. So we are back into the last position and we do what we always did, trying to catch up. But first we made the quickest pit stop ever. And I would wish the pit stop would be as quick as that because it takes ages at the moment for those pit stops. It's not so nice. But yeah, so now we have some clean air, hit the barrier a bit with the fresh tires still. The car didn't get used to these tires uh, on this car yet. But yeah, we are now catching up, um, improving our skills on those tires with this car. And yeah, so next try. So we are getting closer and closer to our British friend again. So let's see what's going to happen this time, if the overtake is going well or not. So long straight, typically easy if you're that close. He's going to the left, I go to the right. He's going to the right just to block me. Thank you very much. Another move which yeah, is no surprise for this whole race. So I was, I'm really not surprised about anything anymore. So um, I don't expect anything from anyone. More. So he went wide, but uh, I was still careful what to do. But on the other hand, I thought, okay, it doesn't matter. He did whatever he did. I take some gap, which is not there, but um, he actually tried to push me against the wall um, and you can see it here in the replay it's not that yeah, for sure I, I, I took the aggressive move but if you look what he was doing he actually let's stop here so uh, I forgot to, to stop here so let, let's do it again so let's stop to see where actually he was steering in because he was steering into the barrier um, so it was not about taking the corner so let's see it here yeah, so you can see he's aiming to the bar to the barrier, so there's no point he could take the corner, he's just moving into me. So the only purpose was to move into me. So, aggressive move from me, but uh, no surprise, he completely tried to push me against the wall. So, I'm not surprised. So, trying to get some distance between us so that he's not pumping me somewhere else. And so, trying to get those corners quick with the fresh tires. And to see, uh, I can actually immediately pull away so that's good news so second last and two laps remaining and i was hoping i can do now something better because we have a big gap to the person in front of us so we can have a clean lap at least so trying to also work on the fastest lap here even the tires are yeah still okay i would say not too good anymore but still quite reasonably okay i would say um, but with this car still i wasn't used to it so but trying to put the lap time in which is okay and the fast lap wasn't particularly quick so we are able um, to get close to this fastest lap we just need to overtake our British next British friend here in the Corvette let's see if we can get the first clean overtake done going to the left he's giving me space he's not pushing me wow that was surprisingly nice and there are still people who actually drive uh, properly, so thank you for that. So we made the fastest lap, um, the only success of this whole race. And now we can catch up to our Span Spanish friend in front of us again. So we have seen him also several times. So catching up in the midfield here. And again, I was trying to stay behind because there's just no point to get for get uh, get a move done here because it's, there's just no space and um, yeah, he was struggling in these corners uh, quite a lot and I was trying to be behind him still uh, even I lose time but I had enough of carnage in this whole race I thought okay so no more carnage just let's just let's try to overtake here clean on this uh, on this long straight so long straight and our final move. Let's see if the final move in this race can actually work without issues or if there's more issues to come. So, he left the space to get the overtake done. Let's see if we get punted or something else happens. And actually, no. So everything went smooth. So, at the end, 
I almost uh, got too wide out here, but uh, I made it. I thought, okay, so this race I have to finish last because uh, it's just, it deserves to have the last thing happening is I need to finish last because um, from all of the chaos, let's finish last. And even with this one, I failed because two others didn't pit. So yeah, I failed in everything. Mm. 